Today in the Four and Fort Kitchen, we are making a drink recipe that's a little bit unique to us, but I know you're gonna love it. It's a hot chocolate recipe from Colombia, and there's a special ingredient, cheese, in there. Trust me, keep watching. I'm gonna make it for you. You follow along and make it at home, and you are gonna thank me at the end. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the Four and Fork Kitchen where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. Today we are cooking a drink recipe actually from Colombia. It's a hot chocolate recipe and it has cheese in the bottom. I think you're really gonna like it. So to get started, I have two cups of milk. This is not the powdered hot chocolate mix that you got from the grocery store that you're used to from your childhood. This is decadent and delicious and just so rich and creamy and it's really, really good. And the reason for that is because we have the uh, milk that you're always used to with hot chocolate. However, the thing that's gonna sweeten it, the chocolate, is an entire dark chocolate bar that we've cut up into pieces and we're gonna melt right into the milk. So you are going to really taste the difference on that part for sure. So because we're making this in my kitchen, we are just gonna be heating up the milk and the chocolate in a pot with a whisk on my stove. However, if you were in Colombia or if you wanna be really authentic and you wanna purchase these things, um, you can use a chocolatera, which is like a little pitcher that they use in Colombia to heat up the milk, and then a molinillo, which is kind of like a wooden beater type thing um, that you use to whisk the chocolate into the milk. So I will put a link to those products in the description of the video if you want to test them out at home. Um, I found some links to them, so you can always buy them and try making it that way too if you'd like. If you don't want to purchase those items, no worries, you can just make it the way I'm making, which is with a pot and a whisk. So you're going to heat the milk um, and continue to whisk it with your whisk until you can start to see some of the steam coming off the top of it. We don't want it completely coming to a boil yet, we just want it to kind of see the heat starting to form there. And at that point, that's when you're going to add the chocolate bar. So for the chocolate bar, I've used a two and a quarter ounce dark chocolate bar, and actually this chocolate bar was a little bit bigger than that when I bought it. I'm never gonna say no to more chocolate, so I just went with a little bit of a bigger one, but if you can find a two and a quarter ounce chocolate bar, that's a, a good um, size. So I took this dark chocolate bar and I've cut it up into smaller chunks here, and I'm just gonna scrape it into the milk, and then I'll use my whisk to combine it and make sure that all of the chocolate melts into the milk. Also at this point, I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of sugar. And the more you whisk, the more the chocolate's gonna melt and it's gonna turn a really rich, deep, chocolatey color. You can see that the milk is starting to thicken now because it has the chocolate in there and the milk is starting to um, come to a little bit of a higher heat. So I'm gonna continue whisking this until the milk comes to a boil and I'm gonna whisk pretty continuously the whole time just because I wanna make sure that nothing burns on the bottom. Putting cheese in hot chocolate is a really popular way to drink hot chocolate in Colombia. I've read that um, people that live in Colombia don't realize that in other countries people don't put cheese in their hot chocolate. So once the hot chocolate comes to a boil, that means it's time to serve it. So I'm going to set this aside for a second and I'm going to take out my two mugs. So what we're going to do right now is I have some mozzarella pearls that we're gonna put in the bottom of these mugs. So I'm using mozzarella pearls. You can also use like, I don't know, maybe a quarter to a half ounce of um, mozzarella that you can just cut up um, that you can also put in the bottom. The good thing about using mozzarella here is that mozzarella is a cheese that doesn't really have a strong cheese taste to it. It's more just like a creamy, salty mixture. So when you put mozzarella in the bottom of this, it doesn't give a strong cheese flavor to the recipe. Instead, it just kind of melts into it and it makes it a lot creamier and then it adds like just a little hint of salt to the recipe so it's mostly sweet with just a tiny bit of salty, which is just, it kind of kicks it up to the next level. It's really good. If you want the instructions for how to make this recipe at home, I will put the link to the instructions that are on my blog in the description of this video. And then don't forget to check out all of the other videos that are on my channel here. We're cooking one meal from every country in the world, so there's lots of good stuff to try. Thank you so much for following along with me this week, and I can't wait to see you guys next week. Just take a sip. Okay. It's really hot. <laughs> Too hot?